what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i am doing part two of my ultra mega timu haul um this haul was about 61 items and uh about 250 dollars. it was a good good size haul for me um it was a, a compilation of a lot of stuff that i had really been wanting to order as well as a few other things i just kind of tossed in there because I doubt they looked cool or cute or pretty or whatever. Um, so if you watched the previous Timu haul, you'll have seen some good stuff that I showed. And um, we're going to continue that trend, hopefully. And um, if you see anything that you like, I will be sure to post a link to the entire order down below in the description box. Little trick I learned from watching another um, person do a Timu haul. You can apparently link your whole entire order in the description box so i'm going to be doing that anything that is out of stock will just be grayed out you'll see a picture of it but there won't be any information shown everything else that is currently in stock at the time you'll see the information the description the price all that stuff so be sure to link in the description box for that i will also link um the link to the previous video um so that you can go back and see that one if you haven't so um, a, uh, little bit of a warning, as I like to show, as I like to say in every Timu video, is that there will be some crinkling and some crackling of plastic, because everything comes in plastic, apparently. Um, I do try to cut down on that as much as I can, um, and if that's not your thing, I apologize. I'll try not to do it too much, but, uh, just try to power through it if you can. <laughs> Um, I have picked out 20 more items from my order that I'm going to be showing you today. And, uh, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt that I was in the last video because I want to try to get all three of these parts filmed in the same day. Because I have time right now. So, um, <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, which is why I'm splitting this order up into three parts. I know how much I like to talk. I do like to try to talk a little bit about each item. Um, if there's any installation or if there's any assembly required, what it does, all that good stuff. So I do like to be as thorough with you as I can. So ignore the hair guys. It's decided it's the one to do this only today. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you um, this is a very popular item, not just on Timu, but in, on a lot of sites. Um, this is a epilator. <laughs> it's a shaving device, apparently. Um, and this was $2.69. Uh, I am going to be telling you the prices because I've gone through the huge box. The box and the um, bags, everything that this order came in because they arrived in four separate packages. Um, and I've had to like go through my packages and separate out different orders. So in doing that, I went ahead and wrote down the prices on everything. So this was, like I said, this was $2.69 and I got the blue color, pretty shiny chrome blue kind of thing. Um, and it's flat. It looks, it literally looks just like, like it would be smooth, like a smooth glass or something. But it's actually kind of rough. It's actually like, like kind of prickly. Um, I think there's hairs right there. Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. I can't see the hairs, but I think it worked. Okay, so I got some hairs on, on the back here. I know you can see those, right? Can you see those? That is smooth as a baby's bottom, y'all. Oh my goodness. I totally wasn't expecting this to work. Woo wee. That is like, could y'all, if y'all could feel this. Mm, sorry. If y'all could feel that, that is like super smooth and you can actually see there's kind of stuff on there y'all 
I'm really surprised by this. I'm really genuinely surprised by this. Like, you can see the hairs and stuff right there, right? Because I have hair on my arm. That is smooth. That is so smooth. See, no hair. No hair. <laughs> wow. I'm... Yeah. I am, I am A1 all for this, y'all. I literally did not expect this to work. So, that's an A+. So, yeah. That's, that's definitely, like... Y'all, I can't even believe that. I can't even believe that, y'all. So, for $2.69. Heck yeah. So... <laughs> I was looking at the description on the side here. It says, um, it says, unlock endless silky. Make it, make it easy for you to be a smooth daughter. Apply body lotion after use. Make the skin more transparent and silky. Easy to clean body wash. So, from the looks of it, you can just, uh, run some water over it and it'll wash off really easily. So, and then that's, that's all the different colors that it came in. This isn't light blue. I, th I think I might have gotten sky blue. I don't know. But that's the colors that it's supposed to come in. So, yeah. Thumbs up for that. So, next up, I have a three pack of towels um, for $10.98. These are going to be more like uh, kitchen towels. These are really soft, y'all. I don't know if I want to mess them up and use them in the kitchen. These are really soft. I was not expecting this to be this nice. These are nice. Just a three pack of the towels. Um, they can't, I think the ones I got came in three. I think I got the, the pack that came in the three colorways. So you got one that's like the red with the black and the blue, the light blue. And then there's another one with yellow in gray and the it's like navy blue or dark gray color that color and another one it's got like a blue darker blue lighter blue gray so that kind of color so you can kind of see the difference there in the colors so these are really nice these are really nice they seem really thick and heavy duty. So I like those. Those are really nice. Um, I really was expecting them to be like thin and like cheap looking, but they're not. These are nice. There's like the, that's the backing that you can see. So yeah, I like these. These are really nice. So I said these will be used in the kitchen. Uh, next up, I have a data cable. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, did I not write how much? Oh, this, this was $4.98. Um, I got the 2 meter um, data cable, which is 6.6 .6 feet. Yes, 6.6 .6 feet um, for my iPhone. And I'm not going to unravel this. This is a really thick, thick cable. Like it's wrapped in mesh, or it has this mesh outer um, might as well, y'all. <laughs> y'all talk me into it. So really thick cable. So it seems like it's got a good um good tip on that there and um this one's got a really good end tip down here too so it's not easy to break so i'm assuming that lights up right there when it's charging so yeah let's see <laughs> Mm. 
It's plugged in, but it's not. Oh yeah, it does. See, I have my charger. I have I have the the plug right here, but yeah, that lights up when it's charging. That's really nice, y'all. That's really nice because I do want like a longer cord over here for my phone. Um, because right now I just have the standard was like three feet something for a standard iPhone charger. So yeah, I wanted a little bit of a longer charger over here for my phone. In fact, hold on. Un momento. I'm actually going to switch you guys out. <laughs> I had my phone plugging it, I plugged in. So, um, I had to plug my phone in, um, because my battery was getting low. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. And what I said, four, $4.98 for that. So far, so good. Next up, we have a little, um, ring, bubble, bubble ring game. Toss. Um, this was two dollars and nine cents. Little game I got for my daughter. Um, it's just one of those ones where you try to get the the rings over the on the the little pegs, something like that. But I just thought that was really cute. Um, it is a it is a plastic. Um, I wouldn't call this, I mean, I wouldn't call it like the most thick plastic, but it's your standard, like little thinner, thin, thinner, cheaper plastic. So yeah, I think that'd be fun. Who knows, me, me or dad might get caught up in trying to play this. So nice little game for her. So what did I say that was? Um, two dollars and nine cents. I'm gonna throw some trash right here. Okay. Um, next up, I think I know what this is. I wrote down a price on it, so I think I know what it is. Whatever this is, it was five dollars and eighty-four cents. Um, and this is a. This is a set. Um. A magnetic eyelash, magnetic eyeliner and eyelash set. Um, there's the, uh, got some tips on the bottom, on the back. Um, it tells you how to use it, how to remove them, and uh, shout out to the person that um, wrote those in English because you knew who your audience was going to be, didn't you? You knew. Um, so this is what comes in the box. So that's the outside box. Um, this is what you get in the box. You get, you actually get a case. This is a case to keep it in. And it was just open a minute ago. So there's your case for your lashes and there's a set in there. And then you get your, um, eyelash eyeliner stuff your magnetic eyeliner so there's a thick little um this is more of like a regular brush style it's not a um a felt felt tip eyeliner this is a regular brush style eyeliner and then you get tweezers You get a set of tweezers that come with the little plastic thing on it. And these hold your eyelash. Hold on, I'm trying to get this together here. And then you also, in the box, get a um, set of three additional pairs of the same eyelashes. So... So this is just a little cardboard piece that comes out. I mean, it, it likes to fall out. And then you have a mirror here. Um, it looks like it has a, a pla uh, um, what do you call it? Something to protect it, um, like a little plastic to protect it over that. And then your eyelashes.
I'm trying to looking what am I looking at here? Okay. So on the inside of this little plastic piece here um is a magnet and it holds the lashes on there. You can see it. You hear it clipping into place. So you have like little magnetic pieces here that actually hold the lashes on there. So you would hold your lashes with this little lash thing like that. And then you would do your lash like that, yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah. Um, I'm assuming you could reuse these like a few times. Um, yeah, those are definitely magnetized. There's like, I wouldn't call them thick magnets on them, but they're, they're noticeable magnets on there. So we are going to give that a shot one day. So yeah, I'm going to put these back in here. So yeah, I am going to give those a shot one day. I did try to put some lashes on one day and failed horribly. Um, I feel like I almost had it at one point. But then I lost it. So we're going to try that. And again, those were, this whole set was $5.84. Um, I think you can find it with just the, the magnetic lash sets without the extra set, without the extra lashes. Um, but I liked that because you had um, multiple sets of the lashes. They're the same kind. Um, there's no difference in the lashes, but they're all the same kind. Um, so I just thought that was neat that to have those extra sets of lashes is that. It's like I got something on me. Now I really can't see y'all. Anyway, I have a sunspot up here and I know I have a sunspot. Sometimes it surprises me when I can see it in camera. So next we're going to do a pair of earrings. These were a dollar and seven cents. And they do have the little extra rubber backing pieces. Because even with these hook style earrings, some people like to have that rubber backing on there to keep them from sliding. So this was, let me get the other one. And I probably will keep them. Here's a little tidbit about me. When I was in my 30s, I um I went through my late rebellious phase and I started wearing gauged earrings. Um, and I had my ears gauged up to like an eight, I think. And so since then my holes have closed up a little bit more, but they're not completely like 100% as small as they was. They're, they're down to about probably 90 or 95% of the um the size they were originally but I, I still get like i feel like they're a little bit looser than they should be so i'll probably save these but i got these a sweet little um sweet little earrings this that so sweet little earrings these are going to be so pretty You know, in those days when you, you want to dress up like really pretty and really nice. Yeah. So, I like these. These are really cute. Really cute. So, I'm going to put these back in the bag. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm also trying not to talk at the same time where I'm unwrapping something. So, yeah. Really cute. Um, next up, it's trash. Next up, I think I know what this is. Maybe I might know what this is. This is another white, <laughs> white bag. Um, this is a dollar, this was a dollar ninety-eight. And I'm trying to remember, if I can remember right off the bat what it was. At the time, I figured out what it was. But I can't remember at this particular moment what that was.
So, oh, okay, yeah. So this is, they need are big. It's a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So um, I'm not gonna open the bag, but this is just a six pack of plastic spoons. Um, something for my daughter. Um, I feel like a, the regular toddler spoons are not big enough for her. But at the same time, I really, I don't really want her to use the stainless steel metal utensils. So I got her some spoons and I think I have the forks on order. If I haven't already ordered the forks, then um, I will be soon. But this is a six pack. And as far as I remember, this is the smallest you can get these in. Like the smallest size pack you can get these in. I think they also came in a 12 pack, but uh, just different colors. Got a blue, um, kind of a sage green, um, pink, white, gray, yellow. So yeah. Um, pick those up. Um, and again, did I say how much these were? $1.98 for that whole set. So next up, um, we have some lip balm. Oh, sorry. It's, it's a perfume stick. It's a perfume stick. Um, this was $5.39. And... I don't remember if this was a particular, I about to say flavor, scent. Um, let me see. Let me put my non-glaring glasses on. Um, tin, tint arc, tin tark, perfume, um, ingredients. This is called Very Berry. I knew it had to be something. Seems like that. And it's a nice little cover over the top of it. it smells it smells berry, but it has kind of an, a vintage vintagey kind of smell to it. Yeah, it smells good, but it has a little bit of that like a vintagey, actually kind of a '90s kind of perfume kind of smell. Um, but really nice. Um, you can uh, scroll it up and down, and this twists on, so yeah, really nice. Yeah, it, it just reminds me of something of like a perfume from like the 90s or maybe like the 2000s. It just has that smell, it's really sweet, so I like that. It smells nice though very delicate. It's not like a hugely strong smell like like this. I can't smell a bit. Now I can smell it from there. So not overly strong, but still very nice. Um, very, um, very delicate. Um, next up, we have a soap pad, I guess you could call it. This was $1.18. And it's kind of unassuming. <laughs> you would just set your soap on top of that. You know, you have this sitting on your sink. And you just set your soap on top of that. So that um, you don't get soap scum on your on your sink or on your counter. And it's, it's very, like, minimalist looking. So, yeah. Some people want a pretty container or a pretty box or something to set their soap on. It doesn't matter to me. I just... Set that on there and keep keep it, the soap scum from getting on your counter. So yeah, got that. It's really like it is a silicone, 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 whatever. Um, it feels rubbery and it's kind of like it's it's bendable. It's it's flexible. Um, so yeah, got that. Just just something simple to put my soap on. Um, I'm gonna put that over here. You are also going over here. Um, next up, I got a little small bathroom clock. 
It's supposed to be waterproof because I need a clock in my bathroom when I get ready for work. Because I tend to take too long in the bathroom when I'm putting my makeup on. Um, this was $4.39. Comes like this, out of the box. Just like that. Um, and it has a suction cup on it. So I can suction this to the mirror if I want to. Or suction it to the wall if I want to. Um, so apparently this lives out of here. And you've got like your suction cup thing and some plastic right here. It does take a battery. Um, looks like it's a AA battery. Yeah, it takes one AA battery. Um, and that's, that's the back of it. So you would set that down in there. And there you have a clock. Um, like I said, which you can suction to the wall or a mirror, wherever you need a clock. Uh, again, I will, I'll probably have to put install this like on the mirror or in the on the wall somewhere around there where I can have a clock in the bathroom um, because like I said I, I have a bad habit of taking too long to get ready like to put, to do my makeup and my hair and stuff um, before work and I need if I had a clock in there I would be able to keep up with the time and I know what people are gonna say why don't you just take your phone in there with you to have a clock with you. I forget. I forget. So, got that. That's again, that's $4.39. And I'm really hoping that's, they said it was waterproof or water resistant. Basically, um, the steam and stuff like that is not supposed to be able to get in here. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Can check that and try that out. Um, next up, I got a set of bread bag clips. These were ninety nine cents for a pack of four. I don't know if you can see them. So uh, there's no complicated directions here. Open that up. Put your bread bag in there. Um, if I can find something that would serve as a bread bag. Come on, come here. Okay. So, say this was your bread bag. <laughs> You'd do that, and then you would put that in there. Your bread, bread bag in there, and then that, there you go. That seals that up. Um, and then she could probably also use that for, I'm hoping you can probably also fit that around like a potato bag. Um, as long as it's not like a super thick, um, crunchy kind. So, got those. I said 99 cents for the four pack. I think you could get them in larger quantities if I'm not mistaken, but don't hold me to it. So yeah. And what else? Another little kitchen gadget that I picked up. This was a dollar and 28 cents. This is a drink cup lid cleaner. Um, you have these little teethy right here. Um, having this little teethy right here that you get like around the edge of the lid. Um, use that to go down like into like, you know, like a spout maybe. Um, and then right here, you can any other little parts that you need to clean out. So pick that up. I liked that. Saw that and I liked it because it's like a three in one kind of deal. You have multiple components all in one device. So, got that. Um, it's, it's called a, a gap brush. That's what's written on the front there. It's called, it says gap brush. Um, but the description had it as a drink cup lid 
um, cleaner brush. So, got that. Um, next up is another pair of earrings. These were 71 cents. And I already noticed it when I was going through everything. Um, they've already lost their stones. Um, I'm going to have to take, I'm going to have to probably, uh, let them know and get a credit for it. Um, but I can glue these back on. It's not a big deal. Um, as long as I don't lose. But, um, I'm going to hold this one up as best as I can. Like, it has a stone right there. Um, it's going to be hard to show. So, it, that's... It's, it's going to be hard to show, but I'm going to, I'm going to put up a picture of what they're supposed to look like, but, um, the stone has come out of both of them. So, um, like I said, it's not hard to fix. I can glue them back in, but I need to, um, uh, let Timu know that they arrived broken. Um, for seven one cents, I'm not, I'm not terribly mad about it though. So, next up... We have a bag, and it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, and this was a dollar and eighty-eight cents. And the reason why I got this, I can I smell that perfume now. Like the more I'm moving around, I can smell it. I'm not mad. So. This is a, what they call a PVC. This is the vinyl, this is a, a vinyl bag. Um, and you kind of can see the size of it. It's got my hand in it. Um, and it's a funny reason why I got this. I got this because the listings for those little small Terry, um, like hair tie things that I've gotten, the listings show them in a bag like this like the person is just holding it you know kind of like this whatever and I was the first time I ordered them I was a little disappointed that they didn't have the bag but I've ordered them I've actually ordered two two sets of them and so I think they should all fit in here so that I can keep up with her hair ties so that's why I ordered this because I was I was disappointed and I was looking forward to them coming in this bag like this but they didn't so that is why I got that um sorry about that um I had to message my boyfriend he's him and my daughter are headed back and I don't know if I'm gonna get be able to get to part three filmed today um, if I can't do it today I'll just have to do it another day um, but I'm going to get through this part first. So we have, uh, one, two, three, four, maybe like five more items. So, um, so next up we have some, a two pack of blush. Um, this is four ninety eight for the two pack. Sorry, not blush. Um, eyeshadow and blusher, like an all in one. Um, thing. So this one, this is one, one and two. <laughs> um, and they had a couple of different options as far as colorways. So this is the packaging. It come, I, mean, I don't know if you saw, but it came saran wrapped together like this. So the first one, um, is a... Let me open this up so you can see a little bit better. So, really pretty palette of these goldeny browns and like really pretty. So, really pretty. And then the second one. Put that in there. Second one should be more pinks and peaches. Well, maybe not. <laughs> this is the one I picked out. So the second one is like that. Let me open this first one again. So this is 
This is the two of them side by side. So you can kind of can tell the differences side by side. So really pretty colors. These will probably more get used for like eyeshadows. <laughs> um, maybe like these in here might get used for some color on my cheeks. I don't know. But um, pick those up. I don't know which one's which. Just I'm gonna put them back in the box. So, um, did I say how much those were for four ninety eight for both of these? And this was Suyami, Suyami brand. Um, next up, we have a little car insurance folder folder thing. Um, registration and insurance um, holder. Oh, it's magnetized. Cool. It's magnetized. I did not realize that. Um, so, just super simple. Just nice faux, faux leather. Really nice. Um, put your reg car registration, your insurance card in here, your registration in here. Um, this actually has a triple pocket here. So you got one and then another little pocket here and another little pocket here. So depending on what kind of registration you have, um, maybe you had your like, these are your cards for your car insurance company maybe. Um, and like whatever documents you have to in case you have an accident. So I got this in the purple, of course, because I love purple, but there were multiple colors that you could get this in. And again, I don't know if I said how much that was. It's five, $5.28, but really nice, y'all. Really nice. Um, and I don't know if you can hear it. It's magnetized. <laughs> so that, that actually makes it so much better. Yeah, I see the magnet there. The magnet is like right in there, right there. So, really nice. Um, so next up, for a dollar and 34 cents, I have a soap bag. <laughs> um, so like, if you put your soap in here, it makes it easier to so like when, when it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, the pieces don't just fall out. You can still use it to, you know, wash yourself off and stuff. So just a nice little mesh bag. Um, I want to say this came in a couple different colors, but I don't remember. Um, little ribbon strap there for hanging like on your sh shower caddy. So nothing, nothing spectacular, just a dark gray soap bag. Um, it's, it has the flap over like that. Um, and you put your soap in. Kind of a rough, rough mesh. Um, I guess all the better to scrub with. So, got that. Can you tell I'm kind of really like brushing right now? <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm trying, I feel like I'm rushing, but I'm trying not to brush too much. Um, so next up... I'm trying to see what this is. I think this is a lipstick. Um, this was $2.08. And this is SNG. It's kind of hard to tell what the brand is. I think it's SNG. Or, oh my god, y'all, it's Bug. <laughs> it's Bug. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bug. Lip glaze bug lip glaze so I picked this up I just thought it was super pretty y'all and can I put this on blind <laughs> so hold on comes with the little applicator like that yes I have some leftover lipstick from yesterday sorry wow that's very pigmented you guys get to see how I put my lipstick on
this is just what I see in the camera, sorry. Um, so, I mean, it goes on pretty smooth. It goes on pretty smooth. Um, the real test will be like when it dries and how long it stays on. Um, which is why I usually wear like long wear lipstick when I go out. But so far, sorry, just ignore all that up there. But so far, I like it pretty good. Um, it's a bit sticky, but not much. It doesn't feel like it's like um, dry or um, too thick or anything. It feels good on. It really does. Um, this is a. I know this was a wet wipe I had earlier, and it's still kind of wet, but. A little bit like from there in the middle but I think this might actually stay on okay we're gonna see how long that lasts I'm gonna wear it to work one day and we'll see how long it lasts um maybe I'll wear it like when I go out or something but we'll see so yeah I think that's really pretty what did I do with it I just had it oh <laughs> so yeah that is the bug bug lip glaze so and I know I'm gonna get comments about that oh that looks so pretty on you I, I have other red lipsticks that I wear. I generally don't shy away from colors, except for like orange. I don't look good in orange lipstick. <laughs> but a lot of other colors I'm good with. Okay, two more items and then we will be done. Next up, we have a kitchen timer for $2.98 comes in a box like this wrapped in plastic it's supposed to be I think it's supposed to be stainless steel maybe I don't know all the writing that's on it is in other languages and it's not even an Asian language there's like German language on there <laughs> or something French <laughs> um, so what we got here so this looks like a pot it looks like a cooking pot, which is really cute. Um, and then you would just... So there you go. It's super simple to use. You have from all the way up to 55 minutes. From zero up to 55 minutes. Can we... Can I, can I manipulate it and force it to go back down? We'll see. Let's see what it sounds like when it goes off. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be annoying. I'm not gonna sit here for a minute, two minutes. I tried y'all, I tried to like get it as little as possible. I feel it's like 60 minutes typing down, right? 60 minutes. Is it moving? So maybe this will go off in a second, couple of seconds here. Is it gonna be a loud, annoying timer? Or is it just gonna be a short timer? Come on. I'll have to speed past this a minute. I think it's about to go off. It's gotta be about ready to go off by now. Maybe? Oh, did I mess it up? Anywho. <laughs> um, anywho. That's, that's basically what sound that it makes. I guess. But, um... Pick that up, just a cute little kitchen timer. We're gonna see if it, it goes off. <laughs> and the last thing I'm gonna show you, and then I will let you guys go. Um, I picked up one of these right here. 
I've seen people haul them. This is like a little game. It's like a Game Boy type game. Um, and I paid $13.48 for this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna, that timer's gonna go off. I don't know if I messed, if I, like, messed it up by, like, forcing it to go down. Maybe if I reset it for a higher time and left it, left it to count down on its own. Um, but it comes in a nice little case like this. It's, um, the rubbery silicone case. Nice zipper. Comes just like this. Um, and you have a cable and you have a controller in case you want to hook it up to your TV. Um, which I don't think I'm going to be doing. But, it comes with this game here. Um, and it looks like it takes batteries. Oh, no, it has a battery. It has I guess it's a rechargeable battery. Um, but does it have any charge on it right now? Probably not. Um, but anyway, it looks like this. It's a kind of a smaller version of a Game Boy. Um, it's supposed to have something like 400 games on it. Um, actual like Nintendo games. But I am going to charge it up for a little while and then I'll probably have to insert like a little video, um, after this and show you how it works because it has a um where you can hook it up to the tv your tv output input whatever tv outputs um your charger um charger thing right there and then you have an on off your on off switch right there um but it doesn't look like there's any charge on it right now so and then there's a volume button here on the side so I am going to prob I am going to probably uh, charge this up for a little while and then maybe I can come back to you guys at a later time and um we'll see how it works. So yeah. I mean the buttons seem really nice. So yeah. But got that and uh we're going to see. <laughs> I've, I've seen some other people, a couple other people haul that, and they seem very happy with it. They seem impressed by it. So, we are going to, we're going to see. And like I said, it comes in this nice, nice heavy-duty case to protect it, so. Hey, guys. So, I thought I would come in and give you guys a little bit of a update and review on the little, um... Game Boy style game that I got. Um, so first off, when I was unboxing this, I didn't realize that there was a piece of plastic where your battery is right here. I didn't realize there was a piece of plastic covering this right here. Like you have to peel it off. And then you, you can operate your game. Um, this thing is very lightweight. I mean, it's cheap plastic. It's definitely cheaper made than the original Game Boy was. So, got your on switch here. And this is your charge indicator light. Um, so this is... Sorry, I was really going to try to do this professionally. So this is your opening screen. Um, and you will be seeing a lot of this, especially if you like to try to work through multiple games on here. Um, because this select button here does absolutely nothing. Um, at least not yet that I've seen. Um, you're supposed to be able to select to start. I don't know. Um, so we'll go down to English and you have to hit the start button to make it do anything so once you hit your language you will see your list of games on here um there's some good games on here there's some regular uh, computer games on here there's a lot of uh, nintendo games on here um mario contra donkey kong 
all the big names. <coughs> but I did notice that somewhere around the 310s, 320s, there's some duplicates on here. So just be aware of that. Um, like here, so numbers 6 and 7, you've got Turtles 1 and 4. That's the Ninja Turtle game. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down to Turtles 1. And start. Unfortunately, some of these games are the Chinese versions. So you have your standard. This is your Turtles. Um, unfortunately, when Master Splinter comes up, he is it's all in the kanji or whatever that language is called. But to back out of the game, you have to hit that return button or reset button, whatever they're calling it. And as you see, it goes back to the intro screen. So, um, but yeah, everything seems, everything plays really well. It plays perfectly. Um, I just wish that there was a better way to back out of a game and go back into the games list instead of having to back out all the way back to the intro screen. And, um, so other than that, um, like I said, I, had, I have not found anything where the select button does anything. Um, volume works good, pretty good. Unless you have a um, really small jack like this size right here. Um, like a headphones or something where uh, um, uh, you can change... What do you call it? Um, an adapter of some kind where you can change a regular 3.5 or 3 millimeter headphone jack into a smaller size one. I don't know if you're going to be able to use any headphones with these. Yeah, you know, that's just my experience. I haven't, I don't have it. Um, I did try to plug in my standard um, headphones with it and it does not fit. So, um, the little, what did I do with it? This right here, this is what you use to charge it. This is the charging cable. Um, but it does have, and I can't never remember, like the type A, type B, type C, whatever. Um, it does have that on it where it's flat on the one side and then kind of rectangular on the other three sides. It does have that, um connector to it and it's just standard USB uh, so if you have another device that has that connector type on it then you should be good to be able to use that to charge that because otherwise you're gonna have to put your, your game system right next to the charger so yeah that's my little review as like I said it plays pretty good um my my only issues with it are the select button not working or not doing anything that I found. Um, and then the fact that you have to go all the way back to that intro screen. Um, if you want to back out of a game. Um, I played a few of them so far. I haven't played very many of them, but I played a few. Um, and there also seem, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it already. There does seem to be duplicates on there, so just be aware of that. So, um... And yes, I checked the Ninja Turtle one um, that you get it on the first screen. And then there's another one, like about 318, 320, something like that. Um, it's the same game. As from what, I, from what I can see right off the bat, it's the same game. So there are duplicates on there. So, but that's my little review. Um, I hope this helps. Anybody who is thinking of buying one of these, if you're just, if you're nostalgia, old school, Nintendo, Game Boy type person, um, definitely look into this because it's pretty good. You get all your games on one and you don't have to worry about the cartridges and all that good stuff. So there are computer games on there as well. Like I said, Galaga, um, Centipede, um, what were some other things? I think Contra was on there. I think Contra was a regular, uh -huh. Um, I want to say Minesweeper was on there, but I don't remember. So there, there are some other games. And Tetris, Tetris was a popular one too. I did play that. 
Um, but yeah, so I said, I hope this helps somebody and, um, I'll get y'all back to the regular video now, but that is all I got for y'all for today, right? Yep. <laughs> That's all I got for y'all for today. Um, my boyfriend and my daughter will be home soon. So I have a little bit of a mess to clean up, um, before they get home. And I'm also... I'm also going to try to see if I can go ahead and film part three today. If I can, I'll just have to do it maybe tomorrow morning. Um, either way, it's not going to matter to you guys because these videos won't be posted at the same time anyway. So, but that is all I got for y'all for today. Um, again, I will post the link to the entire order down below in the description box, as well as the link to part one of this haul and, um, yeah, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you saw anything in here that you liked. And uh, let me know down in the comments what was the favorite thing that you saw in today's video that you liked. So, um, but that's it. I will see you guys again soon. And until I see you guys again, be good, guys. Bye. Bye. <music>